Hello and good morning. Today I'm going to uh, talk about consignment and what I do when it comes to uh, consigning clothes, Pri primarily clothes and some accessories. And what happens is you have clothes that are not moving, they're not selling, uh, no one's watching them, uh, viewing them, liking them, commenting about them. So that's pretty much um, what I call dead stock. And so I have to do something to recoup my money. And one of the things I do is take it to a buy, sell, trade company like Crossroads or Buffalo Exchange. And normally I get whatever I bring in, they take about half of what I bring in and I get my either I, I break even or I get a little bit more money than what I paid for it. But it's better than sitting in my closet and taking up space. All right, so that's how I do my consignment. And I'm just going to go over these items which I'm going to take in um, this coming week to both cross, Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange. First, I'm going to start with Nanette Lepore, this is a tote purse, and I don't know why this isn't selling, but um, it's in perfect condition. It's a pretty pink, spacious, but I'm not getting any views on this, so I'm going to take it in, and hopefully they will give me some money for it. Uh, the next one is ACJ. This is a pleated skirt. Very attractive skirt, and I was I was attracted to it by the made in Italy. I'm always a sucker for made in Italy. I don't know why. So uh, it's a brand I've never heard of, but I thought perhaps the style would um, get someone's attention. A pleated straight skirt, but it didn't. So off to Crossroads it goes. Now let me stop because Crossroads takes seasonal items right about now is fall winter that skirt is probably considered all year round buffalo takes um all year round items buffalo exchange okay isotoner gloves i have sold these before i have them on different platforms and they're not getting any views i have them on amazon no one is buying so I'm going to take these in. This is the right time because winter is at our doorstep. This is something that I bought personally. Sarah, S-E-R-R-A. This is an Aldi legging. I think I paid about $9.99 for these leggings. I just didn't like them after I got them. And they sat in my closet, so... Uh, it's too late to get a refund, so I'm going to see if someone will buy this from me. This was speculation. Thalia. A really cute stretch skirt, tight skirt. Pattern is beautiful. But um, I thought perhaps her name, since she's an entertainer, would bring some views, some buys, but... Nothing happened. And Suzanne Betro, another speculative speculation. This is a boho top. I thought it was just adorable. New with tags. And again, this is uh, not moving, not getting any, any views. And finally, we come to the shoes. Uh, this is a big surprise for me because... These are like new shoes. As you can see, this is a Shoe Dazzle. I believe that's a Kardashian name or something connected. Uh, I don't know. I think she co-owns Shoe Dazzle. I'm not sure how that works. But this is a wedge. It's a large size. It doesn't fit me. Otherwise, I would keep it. So that goes to Crossroads and or Buffalo Exchange. And a big surprise, these are Lucky brand leather Crocs. I don't know if they're Crocs or Lizards, but it's a booty. Really cute with the um, chunk heel. 
and no one is um, liking this, wants to buy it. So that goes to Crossroads. Also, now I'm going to try to consign these two shoes to Crossroads or Buffalo Exchange. Now, it, you know, sometimes when you go to them and you ask them to, if you can consign, they make the determination whether that product or that item is worth putting on their shelf. And if they do put it on the shelf and it sells at, at the price that they list, then um, you get half, 50%. So I would prefer consignment rather than out, 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 outright cash because I don't think that they're going to uh, give me back the money that I value these shoes and boots at. So that's how that works. Um, and yes, you can decline their offer to buy. You can, so, you know, it works that way. You just, if they offer you money for something and you don't think that um, it's um, the right amount or the amount you were looking for, you can always refuse. You can always decline. All right. So that's it for me. This is a short video just discussing um, consignment and what I do now I normally go to consignment uh, places twice a month and um, as I mentioned before I normally get uh, either break-even price what I pay for it or I get a little bit more so I'm hoping that it works out uh, this week when I go also at the bottom of my videos I'm going to start listing the items that sold because uh, when I make these videos, let's say day one, and let's say day three, something sells, and I have to go back and re-edit the video to show you what's sold. But um, I'm just going to put that in the bottom of the comments. All right, thank you very much. Hit the like button, and I'll see you next time.